Creating a pictogram or pictograph is easy to do. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain what a pictograph is and how you can create one using Easily's design tool. A pictograph or pictogram is a graph that represents numerical data using pictures. There are two ways you can design your pictogram using Easily's design tool. You can use a single icon to represent your data, or you can use many icons to represent your data. I'll walk you through both options. Let's start with the single icon option first. Once you're in the design tool, go to the menu bar and click on the pictogram button. A window will open up on the right hand side. You'll see two options, single icon or many icons. Click on the single icon button and do a search for an icon that would best represent your data. Try to find an icon that complements your design and would be easy to understand by your reader. Then drag and drop the icon onto your canvas. Now you can customize your icon using the options in the edit menu. First, let's change the colors to match your color scheme. You'll see two color options that currently match the icon. The first color will fill the left side of your icon and will represent the percentage for your data. The second color will fill the right side of your icon and will represent the remaining percentage. For this example, let's change the colors to match our design's color scheme. We'll change color number one, and then we'll change color number two. The next step is to determine a percentage for our data. By default, the percentage is set to 50%, but you can change this by dragging this up or down. Let's change this to 75%, and you'll see that your icon is now filled up to 75%. Now you can move your icon where you need it and adjust for size. Let's move on to the second option for many icons. Click on the Many Icons button and do a search for an icon that would best represent your data. We'll search for the same icon again for this example. Again, drag and drop the icon onto your canvas and customize it using the options in the Edit menu. In this case, you'll want to determine how many rows and columns you'll need for your data. There are many ways to do this, so look at your design layout and the data to determine the best way to reflect it in a pictogram. For this example, let's do one row and five columns. Next, we need to change the colors to match the color scheme. You'll see two color options that currently match the icons. The first color will fill the left side of your icons and will represent the percentage for your data. The second color will fill the right side of your icons and will represent the remaining percentage. We'll change color number one, and then we'll change color number two. The next step is to determine a percentage for our data. By default, the percentage is set to 50%, but you can change this by dragging this up or down. Let's change this to 30%, and you'll see that your icons are now filled up to 30%. Now you can move your icon where you need it and adjust for size. Now that you know how to produce a pictogram, I want to provide you with a few tips. Depending on the goal of your infographic, you may need to provide a legend or key if you want people to determine what the value is per unit in your pictogram. You may also want to show the actual number or percentage so that you don't leave people guessing what the actual numbers are. If you need to create multiple pictograms in the same design that match, you can make a copy of your first pictogram by right-clicking on the pictogram, selecting Copy, right-click again, Select Paste, and you have a copy of your pictogram that you can adjust with new data. Now that you're familiar with the pictogram tool, try to create a pictogram on your own. If you need additional help, check out our other tutorials or online help articles. You can also connect with us through email or chat.